And uh, I noticed many of the signs were on the first level. And uh, if some of the spaces that they're speaking of were to be on the first level, the street level, would that require any anything from the city? Exterior modifications in the historic district need to be approved. I'm sorry. Exterior modifications in the historic district must be approved. But this is interior. You you say exterior. Correct. But in other words, they could have these flex spaces on the first level without any any need or any permit or any whatever. I imagine it would depend on the zoning law. Well, the zoning law made it very clear that stores and and restaurants would meet the requirement. So, I guess it, we need to wait and see what goes on, up, where those offices go, whether the signs are just advertising the space or whether those houses will go on the first floor, so we'll know shortly. But your answer is they can, the owner of the building can put in anyone he wants as long as he sees they, they fit? Uh, it depends on the, com in the commercial district, first floor must be retail or professional service, remembering that correctly. I'm sure Ms. Heller could clarify if you'd like to have a conversation with her. I meant, I meant privately, if you wanted to have a conversation. Okay. Thank you. Is there anyone else who'd like to make comment on any subject? Mr. Haynes?